Up, down, up, down, up. Okay, continuing on, we have um, this expression here for a plus 3c minus 8. We are asked to identify the terms and the coefficients. The terms are everything that is separated by a plus or a minus sign. So in this case, this is a term, this is a term, and this is a term right there. And so our terms are 4a, 3c, and minus 8, because again, so those are the things that are separated by a plus or a minus sign. And the coefficients are things that are in front of variables. And so we only have two variables here, a and c. So our coefficients are 4 and 3, since 8 is not in front of a variable. Question number 3, again, three terms, right? They're separated by this plus sign and this plus sign. So our terms are 9b, 6, and 2g. So let me write that, 9b, 6, 2g. And we have two coefficients here because we have two variables, b and g, so our coefficients are 9 and 2. Question number four, we have three terms. We have f, we have 15, and 7g. And our coefficients, this one's a little bit tricky, so it needs some explanation um, if you didn't understand it before. But uh, the variable f, right? There's nothing in front of it, but we assume a coefficient of 1, since there's 1f. If it was 0f, that f wouldn't be there. So it's just 1, the coefficient. And then, of course, the g has a 7 in front of it, while the 15 does not have any variables attached to it. So our coefficients are only 1 and 7. OK, question number 5. Tickets to an amusement park are $60 for adults, $30 for children. If A is a number of adults and C is a number of children, then the cost for A adults and C children is 60A plus 30C. What are the terms of the expression? Well, we just learned this is an expression, or sorry, this is a term and this is a term. So our terms are 60A, oops, can't write, 60A and 30C, but be careful because of the minus, our term there is negative 30C. The coefficients are 60 and negative 30. Be careful for that sign. Question number six, interpret the meaning of the two terms of the expression, 60A is the cost for A adults, and obviously uh, 30C, right, um, is going to be the cost for C children. George is buying watermelons and pineapples to make a fruit salad. I don't know why we're always buying fruit for math problems, but anyway. He buys W watermelons at $4.49 each and P pineapples at $5 each. What does the expression 4.49 W plus 5P represent? Well, obviously, it represents the number of, uh, or sorry, the cost, the total cost of however many uh, pineapples and watermelons you're buying. So let me write that real quick. The total cost of buying W watermelon and P pineapples right and depending on what number you put in for W and P it obviously changes the, um, the cost of all the fruit you're buying Question number two, Frank buys P pounds of oranges for $2.29 per pound and the same number of pounds for apples for uh, $1.69 per pound. What does the expression 2.29P plus 1.69P represent? Well, the big difference between the last question and this one is that we're using the same variable. We're just using P to stand for pound. So um, I know we have, it looks like two different fruits here, but we're only using the variable p for the pounds of the fruit. So the expression um, 229p plus 169p represents the total cost for the number of pounds of oranges and apples you're buying.
Okay, here we're asked to match each statement with the algebraic equation that models it. And we are told that the first one is done for us. Here we go. Um, the first one is done for us. x minus 20, x equals um, 0.80x. And that is the price of a winter coat with a 20% discount. And what I'd like you to notice is that um, it's a, um, it matches with C because we are told in C we have a 20% discount. And I, I probably should have put a, an error right here. Right, we're paying less money with a discount, so that's why it's minus 0.20x. So if we look at question number two, or at least, yeah, question number two, we can see a plus here. So we're, we can see we're adding something, and it's not going to be 20%. It looks like it's going to be 2%. So we're adding 2% to this. Right, That's a big clue. So if we look at the choices, it looks like the only choice that gives us a 2% increase of anything is B. So we're going to write B. For question number three, here we go. We have a discount. It's minus, and again, it's not 20%. It's 2%. It looks like right here. So we're gonna take 2% of something away. And looking at the choices here, the only choice of taking 20% of something away is D, where we get a 2% discount with coupons. Yay! So that's D. Question number four. It looks like we are adding 20% of something. 0.20x. And so uh, the only choice left, by the way, is, is A. So it has to be A, but if we read A, yeah, we're adding 20% uh, more students from last year. So that's the uh, correct choice there. Question number five. We are asked to write the following as algebraic expressions, the price of a video game plus a 9% sales tax. So um, if we are to use the... Um, the examples from the previous page, right? Um, let's use P to be the price of a video game uh, plus a 9% sales tax uh, on top of that price. So the way we calculate that is to do 0 0.09 on that price P. And then when we simplify that, because it's 1P plus 0.09P, we should end up with 1.09P to be the price of video game plus a 9% sales tax. So we can do in one uh, in one expression, or one term, what took um, two expressions on the left-hand side. Okay, so uh, for six, question number six, we are asked to write the expression for a price of an item with a 15% discount. So we're taking something away. Here's the price of the original item, and we're gonna take away a 15% discount on that original price, P. So go ahead and punch that into the calculator, 1 minus 0 0.15. You should get 0 0.85P to be the uh, expression that gives that 15% discount. Question 7. Ilian works as a welder and web designer, which are two jobs that should not go together, but apparently they do here. As a welder, she earns $18 per hour. Last week, she earned X hours as a welder, and her friend paid her $75 to design a web page. Man, Ilian is a hustler. Write an expression to represent the total amount Ilian earned last week. Okay. So as a welder, let me see. She earned $18 per hour. So $18 per, that's right, hour for H. And then on top of that, um, oops, we're using the... Um, we're using the variable x for hours. So every hour, x times $18 per hour. Uh, and our friend Peter, $75 to design a web page. By the way, if you are a web designer, never design a web page for $75. But anyway, here we go. So that's the expression that shows uh, how much Ilian worked uh, last week. Because this 18x is a variable expression here because depending on the number of hours she worked, that'll change. But her friend gave her 75 flat dollars to represent um, or for her making a website. So even if she spent 20 hours, she's still getting paid 75 dollars. Not a not a great deal if you ask me. But anyhow, moving on. Question number eight on the next page. The length of a newborn baby has been found to be 0.99m plus 18, where m is the number of months since birth. So by how much is the length of the baby increasing per month? That's uh, question A here. So obviously, m here is the number of months 
right? Um, plus 18, which is our constant. This never changes. So I, I'm imagining that 18 is um, is the length of the, that newborn baby when she was born. And so depending based on uh, depending on number of months, that changes. So every month, right? Um, every month, the baby is going to increase by 0 0.99 m and they don't specify what it is inches or feet or miles um let's just assume for I, I don't know let's not assume anything maybe this is a giant baby anyway 0 0.99 so how much is the length of the baby increasing uh 0 0.99 units per month How much was the initial length of the baby at birth? Again, they didn't specify which units we're using, um, but 18 units, right? Because if if the number of months was zero, that 0 0.99 times zero becomes zero, and all you're left with is 18. Question number nine, Raquel wants to buy a concert ticket online. Raquel has a coupon code to discount the cost of the concert ticket. The cost of the concert ticket online has been found to be T minus 0.25T plus 15, where T, is the cost of the ticket in dollars by what percent is the ticket cost being discounted well we should have noticed from the previous set of questions that right this is a discount this is minus 0 0.25 t so it's being discounted 25 percent 0.25 as a decimal is 25 percent how much is the flat booking fee so when you don't buy any tickets which is zero right the flat it, that'll reveal the flat booking fee and so um, if we plug zero into this equation here zero minus 0 0.25 times zero all that cancels out and all you're left with is 15 and that's our flat booking fee 15 dollars is our flat booking fee